Let's start with Seattle's premier destination for bibliophiles and bookworms. For 50 years, Elliott Bay Book Company has been an escape for readers both near and far. From Lexington, Kentucky, you can see pictures of the Space Needle and stuff, but like you can't, you can't see pictures of this and experience it. Located in the heart of Capitol Hill, this 15,000 square foot space houses more than 150,000 titles. It's just amazing how much is here. Elliott Bay Book Company is also known for what people hear down in the readings room. Framed photos tell a story of just some of the authors who've read from their work here. Maybe the first year that we had any, we had two or three, and for the last 30 plus years, it's been about 500 a year for us. Now, if you want to get lost in the stacks, head over to the Tacoma Book Center, the largest used bookstore in Washington State. We have a lot of books. Ever since we started, we always said you can always buy them faster than you can sell them. Co-owner Larry Jezik says his enormous emporium has offered readers a special joy for more than 30 years, a joy he discovered himself when he was a boy. I tried reading Dune when I was 10 years old and didn't make it through, but got through at 12, and from then on, just kept reading voraciously. There may be easier ways to shop for books, but Larry likes helping customers face-to-face, -face, and he believes nothing is more rewarding than finding your next read on a crowded shelf. In West Seattle, you'll find a bookstore owned by a rock star. Eric Judy was in the music business for 20 years and is one of the co-founders of Modest Mouse. After leaving the industry, he opened Paper Boat Booksellers with his wife, Desiree, inspired by their mutual love for books and community. The bookstore was something we've always kind of dreamed about and talked about, so we just decided to do it. We just wanted an independent bookstore in West Seattle. <laughs> Reading has always been a passion for Eric, who's never had a shortage of books, even while on tour. <laughs> I'd bring a suitcase of books. <laughs> it's the same. He still yeah. carries yeah. a suitcase or maybe two bags of books every yeah. day. <laughs> if you're looking for a cozy place to curl up with a book and a cup of coffee, Seattle's third place books is your spot. They have three locations, Lake Forest Park, Ravenna, and Seward Park. The name comes from the idea that all people need is three places, first home, second work, and third, a place to come together and interact, a place to share both commonality and diversity. That is third place books. Finally, we close this chapter at Drinks Books in Seattle's Finney Ridge neighborhood, a haven for lovers of books and wine. It is a store that sells books and natural wine, built sort of on the principle that um, both of these things, novels or books and wine, are kind of consumable art. Each book sold in the store is paired with a bottle of wine, perhaps a mysterious red for a Shirley Jackson novel, or something lighter for a comedy. So whether it's fiction or nonfiction, romance or thriller, there's a local bookstore that's got you covered from cover to cover.